There's a lot of options. Um, all of these have, have been really clean all year. Most of these started with reflex pre-plant. Uh, a couple of them didn't come back with anything pre and a couple of them did. We didn't see any difference in that. Uh, they were both good as long as you applied something to leaf. Now some of the other studies that we've had um, looking at what what you can remove if you remove that two leaf and wait till four leaf it'll burn you you're going to lose about a 25 percent total control for the season on palmer if you skip that two leaf now you can go from two to six but you can't go from pre up to that four so it's, it's just a timing issue obviously rainfall or activation is key I mean if you don't get that then the residuals aren't going to work but the idea behind it is is don't let it, don't let it ever, ever let it all break if you put out dual give yourself about two weeks two and a half weeks and make sure you're putting something else out behind it if it's you know early post direct you've got caparol you've got directs mixed with MSMA or Liberty or Roundup depending on which system you're in but all of it works if it's done in a timely manner and timing seems to be where it's at. Um, we don't see any difference in material. We don't see one giving a higher uh, weed control than, than another. It's going to be based off your timing and being very timely in your applications, which is also, I mean, we all know that that can be hard in a year when it's extremely wet. Hadn't had that this year, but... Uh, the other thing that I'd like to mention is the, you know, the zero tolerance. That's become another big part of what we do and what we talk about. If you uh, drive, if you're in this area, you go around the tillering company. All the tillering company stuff, all their land is in a zero tolerance program. So they've got these signs all around their property, and zero tolerance is hard to do. I mean, that's the people, the, the the farmers, the big farms that have done it, or big areas up in Clay County. We got a big area, Crittenden County. It's numerous farmers that are pulling together. They're spraying ditch banks. They're spraying turn roads. I mean, they're keeping their crop clean, running hoe crews, and it's kind of, it's pretty neat. I mean, we went up there and put out some trials on the ditch bank stuff, and your first thought is, well, that's a waste of money and time, but when it's right along the side of the field, and you're going to come back later and disc that edge and pull it back in, that's where you're going to get some seed from. Um, the Palmer plant, zero tolerance, you know, we came up with that zero tolerance because of the the numbers of seed that it produces. I mean, if, if you've got 100,000 seed or plant population per acre in, in Palmer, and you spray it and get 98% control, which for us, 98% control would probably be two Palmer plants in a plot, which is not much. I mean, that looks extremely clean. But if you've got those two, and then you get 98% control, well, now you've got about 2,000 plants left out there per acre. So you get those 2,000 plants per acre, and then you make 250,000 seeds on those plants. And you're right back worse off than you were when you started. So it has to be nothing making seed. The seed bank control is where it's at. If you let anything go to seed, then you're losing ground every year if anything goes to seed. And we all, my, probably most of you know now it's, that it's a bad problem, but like I said, in this area, really, really being proactive, and probably everybody on the trailer has had dealings with it or had growers dealing with it, and uh, lots of good stuff, but the, the overlapping residuals is, is where we're at. I mean, that's, if you ask any of us for a system, you know, the material is not going to be as important as your timing.